Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. We're back for part two of our uh, fire flame tutorial and uh, just wanted to make sure going back and correcting any problems I had. I can't remember if I did an image adjust brightness and contrast on this one. Let's see what it does. Contrast up, brightness down. There we go. Okay, so now that we tweak that one from the last one. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is we're going to colorize these layers. <coughs> this is kind of neat. I, I learned this uh, just searching around on the internet, I <coughs> excuse me, saw a, a few different tutorials on how to colorize flames. It's actually really easy. Okay, so first let's do the first layer of flame that we did, and we're going to do an image, adjust, color bounce. Okay, we're going to start and do shadows, then midtones, then highlights. Okay, so first one, the shadows, we're going to do toward the red and toward the yellow. Okay, so even though it looks like it's red up, yellow down, it's actually more toward the red, more toward the yellow. Okay, alrighty, midtones, same thing. More toward the red, more toward the yellow. Okay, highlights, same thing. I don't do quite as much red. I do a little more yellow on the highlights. I don't know, just my preference. Okay, so there's one. Now let's do the second layer, and since these are set to screen, I can see through them. What I want to do is sort of match the colors, but all these flames aren't going to be exactly alike. So we're just going to kind of get it close to that, but we don't want them to be exactly alike. Okay, so on the next layer up, image adjust, color balance. Let's go to the shadows. Oh, I forgot to preserve luminosity too. That helps with the color. Okay, red up, yellow. We can get kind of close. You tweak them a little bit and they get close, but not exactly alike. Midtones, same thing. Red and yellow. See, they're not quite the same. We don't want them to be exactly the same because these flames aren't going to be mirror images of each other. Okay, now the highlights. Red and yellow. And see, they're similar. The second layer is a little or more orangey, but that's okay. Alrighty, now the top layer. Let's get that one. Once again, image, adjust, color balance. Let's do the shadows. Red, red, yellow, yellow. Let's do the midtones. Ready, ready, red, yellow, yellow. See, it's getting pretty close. Highlights, not quite as much red, more yellow. There we go. Okay. Now, see, each one of these flames is not quite exactly the same, the colors and the shapes. See that one, and then the next one, see that's a little redder. And then if you look at the third one, that's a little orangey. Okay, so we've got all three of those flames. There we go. So now we've got those three layers on the black background. Now we're going to tweak these a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do some distort wave. Okay, so let's take the first layer of fire. We will do a filter, distort, wave. Now the settings I've got on this are number of generators 5, just follow along with me, 5, 10, 120, 5, 35, and then this, for some reason, every time I shut down Photoshop, it goes back to 100, 100, so I want 50, and 75. Okay, now I'm going to randomize these, which means I'm just going to do this same combination a few times until I get a flame that I like. See, it keeps changing. I don't want them too squiggly little little ones like that. There we go. Hmm. Let's try that one, see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now let's do the second layer. Same thing, filter, distort, wave. Same settings, now I'm going to randomize this again. I actually kind of like that first one. Let's leave it at that. There we go. Now the top layer, filter, distort, wave. Let's randomize that a little bit, change the flame size. I like that one. There you go. Okay, now all three of these flame layers look good. Now we're going to tweak them a little more. Okay, first I want to group these a little bit closer. Okay, so layer two, let's move that. I'm using the arrow keys a little bit in. You know what, that second layer, 
I think I did exactly the same wave pattern as the first one. I'm going to randomize that one. There we go. That's right. I have the power. Okay, since the th next layer up was in the center, we'll leave that where it is. The top layer, I'm going to use the arrow keys again. We're going to move that a little over toward the center. Let's get those flames to overlap. There we go. Okay, that's good. Now, let's hide the other two layers. I'm going to go to this first layer. Now we're going to tweak these a little bit. I've already got the waviness. Okay, so now I'm going to use the smudge tool. And I have a nice rough brush. I believe this is the 46 rough brush. Okay, and I've got it set to strength 70. I don't want it just totally making a big smear but just enough to tweak the ends of the flames. We don't have to do all of them, but we just kind of flame them out a little bit, just kind of curly cue them, and you can even grab stuff from out of a color and drag it out, and that'll mix and match them. There you go. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so we got that layer. Now let's go to the next layer. Now, same thing. We're going to tweak these out a little bit, flame it out. Okay, flamey, flamey. Ooh, my mouth is getting hot. Oh, Lord, somebody help me, please. My monitor's on fire. Okay, there's a little more flames, a little more flames. You can do this however you want. Okay. Alrighty, now let's take the top layer. Same thing. Tweak it out a little bit. Flame on. There you go. You can do this as little or as much as you want. There we go. Okay. So all three of these layers together. Eh. I might have overdone the, the tweakiness, but you get the idea. You can just do it to taste. Okay, so there's all three of those layers. Let me center those a little bit. Layer two over. Layer three over a little bit. And I'll leave layer four in the center. There we go. Okay, so there's the flames. Now what we're going to do is merge visible. Okay, so now we've got all three of those flames on the black background. And then in part two, we're going to see what we're going to, or part three, we're going to see how we can add that to a picture. Obviously, we'll set it as a screen layer. Okay, so that was part two. Coloring them out, waving them, distorting them, doing all that cool stuff. So uh, come back for part three, and we will apply it to a picture. You can see how these flames will actually work. Alrighty, well, thanks for visiting. Once again, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Um, I look forward to uh, seeing you in part three where we're going to add it to a picture and see how the flames are actually used. Alrighty, thanks a lot and have a great day.